I mean, we got guys that are ready to step up and play bigger minutes, and just that's what these next weeks are preparing us for. I mean, with this loss, it hurts all of us, but we got we got to prevail. Are you running some you and Gabe out there together, kind of trying different combinations? Yeah, me and Gabe, me and Rocket, you know. There's different combos out there, just trying to get a feel for each other and knowing that it's not the same experience as we had out there with Josh. I mean, that was a, a huge part of our success was just the experience that we had and what we had coming back. That's what led to all of this. And just knowing that we're not going to be happy him, we got we to pick up the speed on a lot of things. If, if it's someone like you and Gabe, I mean, are you comfortable taking a, taking on a smaller defender? You know, if you're kind of guarding the mm -hmm. two more, is that mm -hmm. something you, can, you feel like you can do? I mean, either or. It doesn't matter to me. You know, whoever coach is going to put us in the best position possible. So, I mean, he knows more than we do. How much of these next two weeks are about finding the right combinations? Oh, uh, yeah, just, you know, like I said, uh, it's not necessarily that because, you know, it's not like we have a thousand guards, you know, probably got a rotation of like three or something like that. So, you know, it's just guys having to step it up, you know, knowing that now your number's definitely going to be called, now you're definitely going to be a contribution to the team. Uh, it's just about getting these guys ready, uh, getting them to play on that level where they can contribute and help us out. Gabe, how much did it hurt with the news with Josh? How much did that hurt you personally? Uh, I didn't, I didn't even know. I seen it on, I seen it on ESPN. It said Joshua Langford out, and I seen a video, and I, that almost, that broke my heart for us. I see somebody that hard, that worked so hard to achieve what he wanted to achieve, and for it to be taken away. So, but there's one thing Josh always taught me, he said never take things for granted. Were you at home when you saw it, or were you at the, the on oh, campus somewhere? Yeah, I was, on, I, was, I was on campus, I was at the Smith Center. Okay, and you saw that? What, what went through your mind when you saw that? Uh, it, was just, it was just like heartbroken. It was like my heart my heart just dropped after I seen it. Like, wow, that's that's my brother. That's like, that's my man, it's my close one. To see him go down after he'd been out for a year, now he's gonna be out for close to two years. That's gonna, that's, that's heartbreak. So what was it like to get back here and get back to work? Izzo was gonna try to have a hard practice today, which you did, so you had to put that out of your mind and get back to basketball? How, was that, was yeah, that I had to, I had to put it out of my mind, but it was always there. That's because he's just my brother and I feel for him every day. And for just to, just, he talked to us before before practice about Josh and told us, and it, it was just heartbreaking to see that. What'd you learn from the scrimmage? Um, that we weren't ready to play. You know, we thought we came out, I mean, I wouldn't say we got the big head coming in with, the, with all the hype we're hearing about, but we just didn't come ready to play, and that's simple. I mean, these last few days, is the intensity and the energy level has just been multiplied by 100. You know, we've been practicing hard, going hard, and competing at a high level. So, I mean, we're just preparing for these for these next two weeks to open up in New York. Sorry if you were already asked this, but would you just describe the impact that Josh brought to this team when he did play and just the frustration and sadness? I mean, it was no frustration and sadness. I mean, just from that aspect of basketball, I guess. I mean, it's tough to just, to just you know, absorb that that injury like that as a, as a friend, as a brother, everything he's done for me. I don't want to say, I feel like I took it the hardest, but I mean, when you you want to be sad for somebody that may look sad, he doesn't even look bothered by it. You know, he's still a man at the end of the day. You wake up and you're a man before you're a basketball player, so he keeps those things in perspective and just realizes that it's more than that. It's just a game, and there's more to life.